welcome back to the channel. And on today's episode with the S2000, I have absolutely nothing going on. It's an entire CRX day. New suspension on the CRX, front and back, upper and lowers, and we're gonna get started in the back since this doesn't have suspension on it already. I took it all off, we threw it on the Civic, and then when the Civic left, I just threw away all the old stuff. I didn't want to bother putting it on. So it should be relatively quick, and we're gonna start in the back since there's only two pieces going on, and we're gonna go that way now. Right, let's bust off this back wheel. This is dead flat. Hopefully it holds air. Hopefully uh, some of these bolts aren't seized up. This is a Florida car. It's been in storage and Everything should come out Keyword being should And then just in case it doesn't come off, it doesn't want to come off because this looks like it might be original to the car. Let's get some freeze off in there. All right, let's let it sit for a minute or two and we'll check back in on it in a second. All right, let's see if they come out now. That was pretty quick. All right, I'm just gonna leave that one somewhat in so I can break this one free. We got a short 14. All right, it's been a couple minutes. Penetrating oil's done its thing. Let's see if it comes out. There we go. All right, let's leave that in there. Let's grab the camper arm. All right, so we got the replacement camber arm as close as we can to the original. We'll get it aligned later on when she's ready to go. Let me see. Go. We'll go back over that in a little bit. Get the shock mounted in there, just in case we need that arm loose. All right, let's get the through bolt in. Tighten her up. Get these two started. give them all the ugga duggas and that should do it for the bottom side here and then we'll join you up top for the two 14s yep we'll see you up top
we got this side done so we're gonna do the other side and then we'll join you for the front all right so here we are in the front the ever so extravagant 88 CRXSI brakes they're probably as big as a CD if that if you remember what those are and we're getting ready to change out the upper control arm lower control arm I don't know if you can see that there shock and the fork and we're gonna replace those with all new things brand new skunk 2 upper and lower control arms brand new Yonaka drag spec coilovers with all brand new Honda bolts and let's do that right now all right let's start by knocking this free <laughs> Reverse that all the way back around. Let's try that again without slipping. Strike two. There we go. That's the one. Break the uh, traction bar free. Not sure if you can see that from there. All right. All right, let's break that bottom ball joint free. That was way too loose. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a good thing we were driving on this. She's been dormant for a few years. Um, let me grab the jack so we can crank it up and use the uh, tension from everything up here to separate the ball joint. All right, so it looks like the uh, lower ball joint needed nothing to break it free. I loosened the nut and as you guys saw, this was super loose, maybe a minute or two ago. And this little guy right here just broke the bolt free. So we're gonna move up top so we can take the uh, the uh, shock out right here. And then knock these guys free and take the control arm out and replace that with the new Skunk 2 upper control arm and camber kit along with the lower control arm as well. We'll see you up top. All right. We're back topside now. Let's knock some of these bolts free. Wall nuts. All right, shock should have came out there. And then do the other upper control arm bolt. All right. Whoops. Um, we'll see you down below. Good thing I got new ones, right? All right. We're back under the car. We just gotta knock the upper control arm free. Let's swing the hammer and break this free. Ordinarily, if you were gonna reuse this upper control arm, you wouldn't wanna hit it dead on with the hammer. But since we're replacing it with a new Skunk 2 arm, we're just gonna knock this out the hard way. Like that. And then everything comes falling out. So. There's a right way to do things, and then there's a wrong way to do things, and then there's how we just did things. Don't do things how we just did things. upper end probably need to tighten that up got the 14 
Upper done. Let's get the lower situated. Lower. Throw the new fork on. Fork was a little stuck. Let's throw that up. There's one. There's the 14. That brand new 14 millimeter bolt. Right from Honda. Get that tightened up. Get this guy in and then we can throw the knuckle back up and we're done for the day. Here's the bolts. There we go. Give it a little tap. Straight through. Brand new nut right from Honda. Get that done. Oh, got the traction bar. We'll fight with the traction bar another day and get it all lined up. Let's see from there. Because uh, either way, the car is going to need an alignment. I have no idea what alignment. If it had an alignment the last time we drove it, so we'll just figure that out next time around. Yeah, it's not even going to line up. The other bushings are probably shot on the uh, old lower control arm, so. We'll just throw these back on just so we have the bolt so we don't lose them and then we'll address them once we get the next part of the suspension so i had ordered spherical uh lower ball joints and tie rods they're just held up because of coronavirus and covid19 and once that's done i'll pull the knuckles again and then i'll do the carceps 36 millimeter 36 millimeter axle hub and that way we can run all the stock type s axles i have downstairs from all the case swaps we've uh ripped apart so it's good that i still have all those oem honda axles you can go from there that way we got a bunch of oem honda axles which are much better than most level zero and just as good as most level one swap axles and we'll go from there um as far as more we got coming on to the suspension if i can find them we're gonna get the lightweight rear trailing arms and 
I absolutely have to upgrade these brakes to something better. These tiny little CD sized uh, 88 CRX brakes just don't cut it for me no more. The last time I had a hard, hard stop with this, it took most of the track and I got right up to the sand trap. So we'll figure that out from here. I'm gonna tighten up all these bolts. We're starting to lose daylight and then I'll catch you guys for the outro. All right, so we finished up a lot today on the CRX. We got the coilovers on, we got the camber kit done on the back. We did the upper and lower control arms in the front. And that's almost everything for the suspension. I'm still waiting on my spherical tie rod ends and my spherical lower ball joint. Sorry, I was drawing a blank on which one is which. One was which. And then that'll 100% complete the suspension as well as the carceps 36 millimeter hubs as we spoke about a couple minutes ago so that'll wrap up the crx for today thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share if you can and we'll see you next time because we got a bunch of other stuff going on for the crx like Mounting the shifter box and the hydraulic staging brake, as well as the K-mounts. But that's for next time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.